In this video, we will see how to get uh, years of total years of experience uh, from a higher date column, right? The M &A, based on the employee's higher date, how to get his years of experience. Okay, so this is a sample that I have shown. So let's say that right uh, today's date is 2nd October 2018, and if employee is hired on 22nd August 2016. Then uh, the employee's work experience is something like this two years, one month, and 10 days. So, basically, in this example, we will see how to use add months, months between trunk and uh, mod function to get this information. So, the functions that we'll be using in this uh, session uh, is uh, add months, basically, how to use add months months between trunk and uh, mod function right to get the years of experience so add months we will know uh, if we use add months uh, uh, to add number of months to a given date right so let me do a quick example of how this uh, there's another video which talks in detail but here we will quickly see what these function does select so add months state comma two from dual uh, will return uh, add add two months and then it will return so it's returning second december today's date is right second october it adds two months months between basically gives me months between two dates right i can say select months between and then I can say sys state and let's say, let me do this two date of the example that we saw, right? 22nd, 8, 2016. And then here it's DDMMYYY. This is a format I have given. Close the bracket again from the web. So it will tell me how many months are there between the two given dates. Okay, it's running, it's taking time, yeah. So you'll see months between 25, right? 25 months. So 2016 August means, uh, right? 2017, 2018, 24 August, September. And then the decimal you are seeing here. So that's the months between function. Trunk basically helps me to remove the decimal. So here we have 25.37. And if I use trunk on top of it, it will remove the decimals, right? So let me do select trunk of same sql i'm just using the trunk on top of it okay so let me run this now okay so what you see is after removing the decimal the value you will see you will see the value of 25 in the output so what i said add months months between trunk and mod function mod is a number function right which returns me the remainder so let me do this right select mod of 16 comma 12 from dual will return me 12 once or 12 so the right the remainder is 4 so you what you get is 4 right so that's where the mod function comes so now we will see how to use this information to get the uh, uh, years of experience so what i can do is first let me do select star from employees okay so this is one query select star from employees okay we have the higher date here so if you see this guy right uh, Stephen King uh, his higher date is 2003 June so it's almost 15 years now 15 years and then four months or three months right for 15 years three months and then some uh, 15 days or so so you will find it now right eight seven uh, eight nine ten four months 15 years four months and some nine days so we'll try to see how to get it from the higher date so the first function i will find out right is right from higher date i will try to get how many months are there between the higher date and the current date so what i will do is i'll say select first name comma months between right months between two dates i will say so state comma higher date and I will say, let's say months between. This is a alias I'm using. And I will say from employees. 
we're going to do it so we're going to go step by step so i'm going to write different different sequels for this so it shows what's the months between current date and sys date right sorry the sys date and the higher date what's the number of months between these two dates so if you see here employee got hired on this date sorry 176 and it's 183 months 183.53 so when i'm going to get first get the year component i'm not bothered about the decimal for year and month component for year and month component i'm not interested in the decimals so what i will do is i'll just say trunk right so now what you get is it shows 183 months okay so 12 months is one year right so 12 months is one year equal to one year so if i say 183 it's roughly equivalent to 12 183 divided by 12 12 into 15 is 180 right 12 into 15 is 180 so how i can get that is i will just say i'm copying the same sql here months between let it be like that I'll copy this trunk only, right? And then what I will do is months between, I'm getting some value, 183 point something I'm getting and dividing that value by 12 and then truncating that. And then I'm saying that this is years. What I did, months between, the function months between gives me how many months and if I divide it by 12, I will get how many years and then I am truncating the decimal portion since I'm not interested in the decimal portion. Agreed? Right, so we got the first part. So we got 15 years. 176-2003 plus 15, 2017-2003 plus 15, we got 2018. Same 2006, 12 years right so 151 months so now we have got years so the next question is if i want to get the number of months right so once i have the years right once i have the years and then i can get the number of months right so 15 into 12 is 180 here you have 183 so the number of months that's spending is three I hope you guys got it right. Uh, I have 15 years. 15 into 12 is 180. But actually, if I use only months between, you get what you get extra here is 3. Right? So that 3 months we have to write. So the, now the answer is 3 months. So what I will do is, it's going to be, I'm going to use a nested function. And I will say, and I will say, right, basically I will subtract these two values. This into 12 and then this into 12, uh, this, this into 12, this value years into 12. And then minus of this, I will get that value. So number of months, what we will do is, it's very easy. I have total is this one, okay. And now since I'm doing a truncation, I'll just say minus of, this whatever 15 i am getting into 12 i will do so and i will say that this is number of months i can explain later how we get it right i'll spend some more time right so you got it 15 years three months see it's now right today it's uh, sorry it's october 2nd so here it's september up to september is 13 years 2005 to 13 september zero months after that it's zero months There's some audio problem.
okay so i think audio is restored now let me check video yep so now let me run the sql again right 15 years three months so this 183 gets right you get split up like this 212 is 212 is 17 exactly uh, same with 136 is 132 11 years into 12 11 into 12 is 132 plus 4 136 we get this months between so how we got it i just got this trunk months between this value minus the total number of years and then we do it, do it into 12 and then we get the value uh, sorry the difference you get it is in months okay so now i got years and number of months and the third thing that i have to get is the number of days basically right number of days we have to get so how i will get number of date here is now i will use the function called add months right after doing this trunk whatever I am getting right months between higher date divided by 12 trunk of this right so th this is going to return me okay so let me uh, write a new SQL for us to understand right what I will do is select higher date comma higher date and then I will say add months how many months I want to add to the higher date right the months I want to add to the higher date is nothing but trunk of between these two months right trunk of month between these two dates you trunk it and then you do it right and then let's say new new date I'm just giving an example, right? From uh, employees table. Could your result is taking time? Okay. Yeah, it says missing right parenthesis. I have two parentheses here, three parentheses here. So I should have one more parenthesis. Okay. Okay, here you go. So you see the old date, right? It says, see exactly we add till 2018 uh, and then, right? After that, there is no more month. Like you can say all this are nine, 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 right? Nine or maximum can be 10. So in one case, right, we have one employee who got hired on first of one five. So we have up to 110, right? Total months, we got it. After that, it's just the days. Okay, so that's the significance of this. So now what I have to do is I have to simply say select state minus this value will give me the number of days. I hope you guys got it right. So state trunk of the state minus this state will give me how many days that are uh, right that are not included in the final calculation. So what I will do is here I will say uh, let me do this trunk of the state. Uh, let us write a new SQL. So I will say trunk of the state minus this value will give me number of days. Right, that's the independent part. So 
so you have 15 days right 17th to second uh, uh, this thing you get 15 days so this is the value which we have to substitute in this sql to get the number of days okay so now what i will do is from employees i will copy and paste this Hmm. So before, let me do an end here. Okay, so let me run the SQL now. Hope you guys are able to be able to understand it now. Hmm. It's running now. Right. So if you see, we get 15 years, three months. 15 days so what it means is 2003 to uh, 2018 it's 15 years from june to july august september three months from 17th uh, september to 2nd october it's 15 days right so if you see here 25 you will it'll be more interesting right 25 is 13 years 2005 13 years three months seven eight nine after that from 25th to second october is seven days so that's what this number of days gives so what we do here i am from the i use trunks state to remove any decimal just only the date to get only the date component we are using trunk of state minus and i'm using add months function and what i'm saying is higher date logically what i'm trying to add is months between these two dates higher date and uh, sys state and I'm truncating it basically, truncating it and then barring it back to the higher date so that the decimal, which are nothing but the number of days, is removed and uh, we get it. Right? So that's what this add months function does, the one that we saw in the above, right? Trunk of the state minus add months, what this one does, right? So this is how we will get the number of total number of years of experience thank you